Hey, it's Four Aces Trading Cards back with another video. Today we got a baseball one. Uh, we got a retail mega box of 2023 Chronicles baseball. Uh, we're going to get one autograph or mem card. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you know, but Panini with baseball hasn't had the licensing um, from MLB for a number of years. So we're dealing with no logos. Um, no team names on any of the cards. Well, in 2023, they also lost the license with the Player Association. So all of Panini's baseball products are basically just prospects and retired players. Um, there's a few, I think Bobby Witt Jr., I think, is the only one I can think of that's an active player that is not part of the Players Association. Uh, something to do with a beef with them through when his dad was a player. But, uh, you know, they got Jordan Lawler on a box. So this was early enough in the 2023 season that he was still a prospect um, and not on any uh, big league rosters at the time. So we're going to find some cards like that in here. Uh, but for the most part, these are going to be names you don't know because they're bottom of the line prospects uh, or they're going to be uh, retired players, uh, which I, I, I'm i okay with. Um, Panini tends to load these boxes up since they don't have real players in them. Um, so we might get some numbered cards and, and such in here. So we're looking for Obsidian Electric Etch Carolina Blue Parallels. You can see here we got uh, 48 cards per box. Here is everything you can get. And you can see there's a lot of different stuff in Chronicles. Um, they just kind of loaded up with, you know, six or eight different kind of sets. Um, small checklists on all of them, but they're just a big variety of different kind of looks to the cards. Um, which is one of the reasons why I like Chronicles. Um, but Chronicles kind of has the no value really curse to it. You're not going to get a lot of resale value on any cards in here, but they're fun to collect. Uh, yeah, see, it says here, variety of prospects and legends from more than 20 iconic brands. So um, we'll get right into this, see what we can find. And as always, if you like the video, drop a like, share it with a friend, leave a comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that stuff. We do typically one video a week on Fridays. Uh, occasionally Saturdays are a different day of the week, but most of the time Fridays. So subscribe so you don't miss an upload coming up. We've got uh, basketball hobby boxes coming up. Uh, we're going to do a series with uh, NBA Revolution. Um, we'll get right into it here and see what kind of cards we get. Like I said there's going to be one autograph or patch card in here according to what the box is telling me so Justin Morneau Elijah Green and we got three sets already you know we've got the limited classics and then this is the kind of the regular Chronicles release Jose Ramos, Luminance of Mickey Mantle. So it's cool to get cards like that, but not much to them. Oscar Colas, rookie card. Um, they're, so they're putting the rookie card logo on there, but they really don't have any true rookies that would be part of the uh, Players Association. So we've got a Whitey Ford turned backwards. Oh, it's just a recon card. I think the recon cards all get kind of flipped backwards. Uh, that's cool. It's not a parallel or numbered or anything. It's just a regular base recon card. And we got a certified Eddie Murray. Baltimore great. From back in the day. I remember getting his cards in the junk wax era. I started collecting. All right. Let's see. Jacob Melton. Dale Murphy, Brooks Robinson, another Orioles great, uh, David McCabe, and we got Chase Needruth, 
Oh, I thought that was upside down. Let's see. Owen White, rookie card again. Ryan Zimmerman is, what is that? Uh, oh, that is the, what is that? El Essentials. So Recon and Essentials are both flipped over. Second to the last card in the pack. Crusade, Tim Salmon. Hopefully we'll find something we can put in the back. If we find a numbered card or something short printed, we'll put it back there. Mark Pryor, Joe Morgan, TJ Brock, Doby, and Tony Gwynn. Andre Dawson, Billy Williams acetate card, and Jose Ramos. So, like I said, this Panini stuff from, from 2023 is not going to be for everybody. I will not find hot rookies in here. Brian Ramos. Tim McCarver. Um, stick in there. No, that was it. Okay. Jake Bennett. Mel Ott. Jackson Holiday. That's not a bad one. Um, probably one of the very top prospects coming into this new season. He will probably be on. I would guess he would be has a good chance of being on opening day roster because he raked in 2023 the minor league system. We're going to sleeve that one up. Melendez and Seiya Suzuki flipped over. It's another one of the recons. And Bubba Chandler, optic. That's the first time we've seen the uh, Contenders optic subset. So we do have one to put in the back. It's nothing uh, short printed. It's just uh, a good name to get for the prospects. Matt Holiday's son. Uh, he has a brother, Ethan Holiday. I think he was in the Stars and Stripes set last year. Uh, still a high schooler, I believe. Uh, you'll probably be hearing that name coming up here in a couple years, too. In some of the Bowman releases. If he gets drafted. Um, Bogut, Phil Rizzuto. Every time I see that guy, I always think of Adam Sandler and Billy Madison. Has to spell it on the blackboard in cursive. Johnny Pesky. Joe Morgan. Uh, Boudreaux. Some of the old timers go back far enough, I don't even know who they are. Jimmy Rollins. Zach Veen is another recon card, right? No, this is XR. These are heavier stock. The recon, the essentials, the XR there are a heavier stock card, like a 54-point card. George Brett, Mosaic. Jackson Holiday is looking awfully lonely back there as we get this, this last pack. We're still looking for our autograph or mem card. Um, so we got a heavier stock card in here. Drew Jones, that's a good one to get, I guess, um, for Prospect. It's just the base chronicle, but we'll sleeve it so we have something for Jackson back there. Drew Romo. Mason Hour. Carson Williams and Jace Young could be our patch card. Feels pretty thick. And it is. Jace Young. Gold standard swatches. That's cool. I bet it's not from any particular... Yep, not from any specific game or event. Not player worn or anything like that. So it's just a piece of fabric. But we'll sleeve it up. That's a typical Panini thing. Oh, we got two cards that are stuck together here. And we've got a Zenith, Buster Posey, and Bill Mazeroski. That looks like maybe that, is that numbered? No, it's not. Oh, that's the Elite. 
Got the golden gray though. I'm gonna flip through. Well, let me sleeve these first. I'm gonna flip through all these other cards I set aside and see if I see any that are numbered on the back because I'm surprised, like I said, with the way that Panini was kind of loading boxes with numbered cards because they don't have the licenses anymore. I'm surprised that we did not hit a numbered card. Um, so I'll flip through these real quick, just see if we missed something. a bum box but um, prefer to get the autographs but we'll take the patch card it's all right not expecting much from chronicles this year one of these cards tend to stick together a little bit because of the glossy uh fronts and the kind of the matte finish backs no numbers yet Still no numbers. So maybe I didn't miss anything. I must not have missed anything. It's just no numbered cards in this box. So so there you go. I mean, overall, kind of garbage just because of the, the licensing issues. Um, it can still be a fun rip. Chronicles, I, to me, is always fun because it has so many different sets. You saw it as we went through it. It was just... Um, it it'd take a while to get boring because there's so many different sets on it. Um, and uh, so I like it, not as much as prior years because of the licensing deal. But we did get a Jackson Holiday, Jay Shung patch card, and we got a Drew Jones base Chronicles card. So um, if you like the video, drop a like. And like I said, we got some basketball hobby box stuff coming up. So subscribe so you can catch those videos. And we'll see you in the next one.